In this video, I'm going to talk about the best penny stocks to buy right now in April 2024. One of these stocks has major contracts with all five of the world's biggest companies. Another has partnerships with the US government, the military and NASA, while one company is led by a CVO who has previously turned penny stocks into billion dollar companies. This is a must watch video for anyone who is serious about penny stocks in 2024. Now we have a lot to get through in this video, so I will keep this intro short. But if you find any value in this, can you smash the like button? It costs nothing, but it helps me out so much. I'm aiming to get 500 likes on this video. Help me achieve that goal. Don't miss out on new content like this. Subscribe and hit the bell notification if you're new. I'm not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice, so always do your own due diligence. And I would really appreciate if you could try answer the question at the end of this video. Now let's get straight into it. One Stop Systems. Ticker symbol OSS designs, manufactures, innovative AI transportable edge computing modules and systems, including ruggedized servers and data recording software for AI workflows. These products are used for AI dataset capture, training and large scale inference in the defense, oil and gas, mining and autonomous vehicle and rugged entertainment applications. OSS is a prime contractor to the US military with long standing engagements but has also been expanding into commercial platforms to grow its global presence. OSS have been growing their revenue in recent years, but are yet to have that breakout movement that would see the stock price rocket. But the company did appoint a new CEO and vice president and vice president of sales in the past year, both of whom have a long history of aerospace and defense markets with deep relationships with major tier one prime military contractors. Now, with the military moving very quickly into the AI space to maintain its advantage, this is becoming important and this might just be the start of something big with OSS now recording major military contract wins. But it's not just military contracts. One Stop Systems also has major technology partners such as Nvidia and Apple as well as Microsoft. And that's just the start. Look at the rest of this list. This is all of the world's biggest companies. OSS have the potential to grow in growth markets with estimated total addressable market of over $200 billion by 2030. Now what catches my attention is that OSS has a very low valuation, especially when compared to most of its peers as we can see here, such as the very popular AI company, Supermicro Computer. So there is definitely a lot of scope for OSS to grow exponentially. Perler Technologies is a company that I have been getting so many comments about over the past few weeks, and for good reason. The stock is up about 400% in the past month, and now an opportunity has presented itself. Perler Technology Group is a leading energy management platform company offering proven solutions that play a critical role in accelerating and electrification of the circular economy. Leveraging a foundation in developing, manufacturing, and licensing next generation carbon fiber thermal management technologies for batteries and, and electronic systems. Perler has evolved its products and services to enable its customers to operate with efficiency. This company operates in a huge and growing market with exposure to aerospace and defense, e-mobility and lithium battery market, as well as global recycling industry. The energy storage market alone is expected to grow by 8% annually over the next decade, reaching that $400 billion point before 2030. Now, KULR stock has acquired a lot of interest from retail investors over the past few months, but the big boys are also heavily involved with institutional ownership, such as Vanguard, BlackRock, and Morgan Stanley, whereas insiders hold over 34% of this company. But Curler also has huge customers and strategic partners across several industries, such as NASA or the US Navy, or major industrial customers such as Lockheed Martin, General Motors, and even Meta. Now the company has just released their earnings report, which has provided a huge opportunity. Despite revenue increasing 146% year over year, KULR stock has dropped as this earnings did fall short of some analyst expectations. And the fact that the stock is currently under $1 has caused a sell-off that will likely continue on Monday and provide a buying opportunity. Another stock that was brought to my attention in the comments is WorkSports, ticker symbol WKSP. 
Worksport Limited was founded in 2011, starting as a producer of tonneau covers for pickup trucks in the United States and Canada. Worksport has been developing innovative covers, but also a hybrid energy system branded as Solace and core battery, which unite as a comprehensive system for portable solar power generation capable of forming personal microgrids for pickup trucks. Management see developing this technology as a large step in the company's strategy to increase its market share through innovation in the automotive and clean tech sectors. But the company has been expanding and has partnerships with large companies such as Hyundai and recently partnered with Dick's Performance North to expand their Canadian market presence. And the company planned to ramp up operations in 2024. Now, this is the smallest company on the list with a tiny market capitalization. This is a high risk, high reward type of play, but the idea of portable solar power forming personal microgrids for pickup trucks sounds very interesting. And I think that this could be a huge growth market. I will continue to look into this company and I will update you on my findings. So if companies like this are of interest to you, make sure you subscribe to the channel and don't miss out on the update videos. IQS Tel is a US based technology company offering leading edge telecommunications and technology services. This company is traded on the OTCQX, ticker symbol IQST. The company is fully reporting penny stock with fantastic corporate governance, an independent board of directors and an audit committee, which is something that not every OTC company has. IQST offer leading edge services in both business to business and business to customer divisions through several subsidiaries across separate business divisions. These include Enhanced Telecommunications Division, which includes their Internet of Things and Proprietary Blockchain Platforms, their Fintech Services Division, Electric Vehicle Division, and their AI Enhanced Metaverse. IQST has a global presence, and its products and services are used across several industries in telecommunications, EV financial services, and distribution industries. And they have lots of customers, which we can see here. Some of these are very well known, such as IBM, Verizon, or Vodafone. And IQST have just issued their latest earnings, which show record revenues, achieving a 55% annual revenue growth to over $144 million, with gross profit increasing by 160%. IQST have managed to decrease their net loss by 96%. So it looks very much like IQS Tel could be profitable within the next few months, and this has caught my attention. Before we look at the last stock on this list, check out this video that I made two weeks ago, where I looked at five more huge potential penny stocks. These include an air travel company expanding into EV air travel. Yes, they are bringing the EV market into the sky with EV planes. The company already has a whole host of partnerships signed with several major companies, one that will be very familiar to retail investors is Palantir. Palantir have taken a 7% stake in this little penny stock. And some of the companies in this industry are heavily backed to by major investors who are investing big right now. Archer Aviation is backed by Cathy Woods Arc or Joby Aviation, which is backed by Intel and Vanguard. And another one of these penny stocks has the potential to not only double your money, but to go parabolic very soon. A company that is led by a CEO who has previously turned penny stocks into billion dollar companies. A CEO who previously led a 15,370% gain that makes the likes of Nvidia or Bitcoin's recent gains look tiny. This is a must watch video for anyone who is serious about penny stocks in 2024. But this video is appearing in the top right hand corner right now. But there is also a link to this at the end of this video. So SoFi is a fintech that offers a range of lending and wealth management services. The company primarily caters to early stage professionals and offers variable and fixed rate parent, personal and MBA loans, mortgage refinancing and more. They create modern financial products and services that help people borrow, save, spend, invest and protect their money better so they can achieve financial independence and realize their ambitions and fintech is one of the most promising megatrends which will disrupt the way we go about obtaining financial services. So considering the promising fintech industry's prospects, together with SoFi's strong execution, I think that the company is poised to become a notable player in the evolving banking industry. 
When we look at the most recent investors presentation, this is a company that is doing extremely well with regards to almost every sector of the business. New member additions have increased every single quarter and so too has new product additions, which is increasing at a rate of 41% quarter over quarter. So just think about this from a fundamental point of view and a financial point of view. In very simple terms, revenue goes up while costs come down. Any business that can increase its revenue while decreasing its costs is onto a winner, which is why its lending and financial service products are all up too. The company has posted their best returns to date, as we can very clearly see here with the huge increase in year over year revenue growth and adjusted EBITDA margin. Now in this video, I have looked at what I consider to be five top penny stocks, but which of these do you think is the best? I am extremely bullish on one of these in particular. Check the comments to see which one, but let me know which one is your favorite. OSS with their military and commercial partnerships, Worksport Limited with their portable solar power and personal microgrids, Perler Technologies with their huge potential addressable market, IQS Tel with their record breaking quarter and growing revenues, or SoFi with their constant growth and finally becoming a profitable company. Leave a comment and rank these one to five. This is of course just my opinion and it is not financial advice. There is a lot of talk on social media right now about these stocks, so always do your own due diligence. Remember that I'm not a financial advisor, but if you enjoyed this analysis, then please like and subscribe. I hope you make a load of money on these stocks. And if you want to check out my latest full analysis of SoFi stock, then click the video that is about to appear on the left. Or if you want to see the penny stocks video that I mentioned earlier, then click the video on the right. Remember to follow me on Twitter and I'll catch you in the next video.